If your company you send a lot of email, you don't use the ticket system, I would use this. If you have two to three people that works for you, use this. The reason why is, uh, you use this because when something goes wrong and the employer, yeah, I wouldn't say employer, yeah, your staff, let's say your staff did something wrong and you want to fire the person, you can say by not meeting the policy, um, you break the contract because you don't follow the rules or contract and you can fire the person. I see this a lot because sometimes you see a company, they had a rule in the email policy. Um, you're not allowed. They had it in the um, email policy, but also in the contract. So that's, that's a strong one. They said you're not allowed to uh, receive money from the customer in your personal account. And the person did it and he got fired. And they had two solid ground to fire the person. And this is the way I can use it. You can say the policy is the policy of my company. And you didn't follow that. It's the rules. You didn't follow the rules of the company. This is the reason for you to fire, to fire you. Uh, most of the time, people do not know how to handle um, a staff when they do something wrong. By having rules for your company, it can prevent a lot of things. You may think, now, hmm, I don't really need this. No, you don't. But when something goes wrong, you'll be like, huh, I wish I did that before. So think about it for the next time. So an email policy is, is handy, but if you have a ticket system, it will be much better. So um, yeah, think about a ticket system because in ticket system, as an admin, you keep an overview of what's happening in the company or not so that's how you need to see it